Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, I have successfully complete total roles and permission, how to use some of the roles and permission, how we can protect it, all that our menu and also how we can protect that our URL. I hope it's everything is very clear to you. So now friend, in this video, I want to do, I want to create some of the error default page. That means when you put inappropriate some of the URL, like here right now, if you put some of the inappropriate URL, so this URL is not exist, right? If you click as enter, by default, Laravel actually provided one of the default page as a 404. So I want to do, I want to load one of the 404 page. Here I want to load one of the custom 404 page right now i want to close everything that will be not needed okay here i have also successfully done this job here also will be not needed now i want to do i want to create this type of another 404 page that is very easy only now you have to do you have to go to that your view okay that is our view file i want to better minimize all into the view folder area here you have to create one of the folder name name is very important that will be as errors errors okay this type of one of the folder you have to create and then into the folder area i want to do i want to first of all create one of the 404 so now i want to click as a save as i want to create on the blade page as a 404 dot blade dot php so friend that's all you have to do here if you load one of the html tag like i make it as a 404 and here into the body okay into the body i also want to use one of the h3 tag that will be as a 404 now that this page will be loaded if you click as a save all and when you put any appropriate some of the url now if you click as a enter now you can see there is a 404 is successfully loaded so here i want to do i want to use one of the, our theme 404 page like if you go to that our theme into the theme i want to open it and that is in our back in theme okay into the back in theme area i want to open like that is here also that should be one of the page if you go to that a special page and that is our everything that is our authentication page that is our error page you can see that is a 404 page so that will be actually our 404 page so now that is one of the page error as a html that means pages error and html dot uh, i want to do I want to go there so that is our pages and that is our errors okay errors and you can see that is our 404 html i want to simply copy everything from here okay i copy everything from to this position that is one of the static file and then i want to add it in our 404 blade here i want to paste it okay now only we have to update a little bit right now we don't need it and that will be i name it as a 404 404 page and then here we have to do have to update the same things that i have not done before if you go to that our main admin in our admin dashboard here you can see i have already used it as a asset back in then that will be our everything so now i want to do and to simply update it in here that will be as a asset asset and then that will be as a back end right and after that back end here i have already added a, all that our path now whether i copy it at a time i also want to update it update it update it okay now i want to paste it now that will be same after that asset i want to simply take that css and here i paste it i want to take it from to this area and here i want to paste it there is also another asset i cut it and here i paste it i want to cut it from here i paste it that will be another one i cut it and then paste it okay great so right now we don't need it i want to simply remove it and that is also another one and that is also another one i want to remove it i want to remove it hmm, that's all that's all and also they have one of the images images if you want to visible the process will be same here asset and then that will be as a back end okay back end and then our asset images i want to do to support that svg now i simply paste it okay now that should be work that is image should be displayed that will be the 404 page mm, great great and now also here we have to update our js file so that will be the asset and then that will be the back end and then our folder name right now better also to copy it and then that will be here and here i paste it now that will be our asset i cut it 
okay cut it and then i paste it i simply cut it and then i paste it and then i cut it and then paste it great right now we don't need this i want to close it i want to simply remove it from here i want to remove it that's all that is another static page okay now this page should be display if you now click as a save all and now if you go here now that is our custom 404 page should be loaded yes you can see it's now successfully loaded our custom 404 page great so now if you put any inappropriate any url then automatically it will be get our this 404 page so in our next video i want to create our another one as a 403 so when user don't have any permission then that will be loaded our another page okay so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video